Um, I recently stayed at the worst hotel I've ever been in, ever stayed at, ever heard about. Should we like say, hey, my name's Gideon, this is Logan, kind of deal, like, I'm Logan. We can, we're just going to read some reviews today. On your first glance, you know, what do you think when you look at these pictures? It kind of looks like how the Shining Hotel is supposed to be, you know? Yeah. Like how it's supposed to be like a really nice hotel. It also looks like a North Atlantic. Like Now, you know, these rooms, I couldn't tell you where these rooms were because I saw two rooms and neither of them were that nice at all. Really? But it is true. The lobby is amazing, which, you know, kind of amps up your, you know, it hypes you up for the room. And in reality, the room is terrible. Like, Did your rooms look like this? No, my room didn't look like this at all. I've never seen that in my life. And you know, we had really good suites, I was told. So I really don't know where is that, what any of this is. What is it? This is just one of their, like, it's also a convention center. Can you imagine if you got, like, married here, and, like, you found out that the rest of your family had a terrible time staying at the <laughs> hotel you picked? No, yeah, I mean, the bed was so stiff. It was like, it was like sleeping on carpet. It was... Terrible. Do mattresses go stale? Wait, where people, is it? Like, like in, in Chicago? It's it's very it's very conveniently located. Really? In Chicago. It's right here. Oh wow! And then this is like a little fountain, and that's the lake. That's the lake. Yeah, that's the lake. Isn't and then, there like the highway ends, and it just comes right up here, and it's on that street. Is that like the river that runs through Chicago? Yeah, I don't know Chicago. Okay, right. why don't you just leave me the fuck alone? Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> You went there, you wanted to make a video about it. You said and you asked me some questions. I don't know the answer. to Seventy six dollars so. a night. Yeah. Well, okay, so the price is a, I guess you get what you pay for a little bit, so. It's like Airbnb. Yeah. In any case, um. Should we read some five stars and then some one stars? People most, uh, yeah. Oh, by the way, there was no air conditioning, there was only a heater. Um, so if you were, if you were hot, like, I guess you had to open the window, but between you and the lake, you're the tallest building. So if you open the window, you're going to freeze immediately with the wind. Did you see the bean? The bean? When you were there. No, you know I, didn't, I did not see the bean. I didn't. I don't care. Anyways. I don't know. For me, like my mom. Five out of five stars. This is a very nice hotel on Michigan Avenue. Across the street from Grant Park. The hotel was built in the 1800s. The room was very nicely decorated. Very clean. The room rate was wonderful. Best deal in the whole loop area. The only downside I could think of. And this is just my personal preference. The mattress was like sleeping on a board. See? No. That's exactly. That's exactly how it is. I fixed that with lots of pillows, no harm, no foul, a very pleasant How do you stay. fix that with pillows? Do you lay on a bunch of pillows? You just spread them. Like, you said they were, like, paper thin, so maybe you yeah, just, no, like... no, they're, like, this thin. Made a mattress. If you like historical buildings, character, and opulence, this is the place to stay. If you like big box hotels, I doubt you'll appreciate what a gem this place is. Service was great. View was spectacular. Okay, all these people See, really I dig this it. One. I want to read Kinsey. You want to read Kenzie? Yeah. Two out of five stars. Kenzie says, I stayed on the 10th floor. Good view. Hallway, <laughs> hallways were dark and horror movie like doors in our room were weathered looking and the handles didn't work along with the hole under the bathroom doorknob wow well can you collaborate that with your story collaborate that with your story like well okay like, so was it dark was it dirty it, was the, it hall, the hallways were dim the carpet smelled a little bit and like all the doorknobs like yeah they're pretty jank really and you know how most hotels now they have like a deadbolt um this hotel still only has the chain no deadbolts so the Oh, yeah. I yeah. thought you were just saying, like, no. like hotels were giving you keys to unlock deadbolts. And no, I was like, like, I thought you just did the door. And, guard. like, the bathroom door, like, it, 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 like, the knob is falling off. The entire foundation yeah. shifted, no doors were. Um, the toilet had a shit missing from the bottom. There Why, were, Why there does were, that matter? I don't Why know. Why is that I mean, it, it doesn't matter to me. I guess it matters to Kenzie. Uh, there, was, there were no fitted sheets on the mattresses and a blood stain on the end of the mattress. Walls were poorly painted. I actually did notice that, too, in my room. What do you mean? Like they painted it over like an like, old layer and it was bleeding through? They through? painted over the old layer. Like, you know how you've got like, you know, I don't know what, what it's called. The, Popcorn. Like the white pieces in the top on the, on the bottom. Trimming? The, the trim. Yeah. Like they painted over the trim with the wall color too. And it's all just peeling and it's all bad. It's like those people who like rattle can their cars. They just yeah. spray the dash with Yeah, red. it just looks like a car got spray painted, but it's a hotel room. Okay. Like, you know, you just took Rust-Oleum to your car. That's like the kind of thing, like when you say there was a blood mattress, like a blood stain on the mattress, that's the kind of thing you'd like really accompany with a photo. It's really like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't pop open the sheet on a hotel mattress to see what's on it. I wouldn't want to know. But I guess she found out because there's no fitted sheets she, on the mattress. Um, you, you know what that means? Mm -hmm. She had like, all right, so the way I figured, like it's industry standard. You have your, like your fitted sheet, right? Mm -hmm. And then you have like a loose one that's not gay to fold. 
and then you have like your comforter. Yeah. So that means she had to use her fitted sheet as like or her non fitted sheet as like her regular thing, and that was like a thin layer between her and her blood stain. The, <laughs> of the, bed. the difference in the lobby, beautiful versus everything else motel looking, was tremendous. Okay, so two star. Okay, so rooms get two stars, service gets two stars, and location gets five stars. And this is a pattern that develops where everyone really appreciates the location. I think I should present a theory. Mm. I think the room sucks, the hotel sucks, but it's such a bomb location yeah. that they can just keep folding people. It's a fire them. location. Yeah. Yeah. Kim, with two stars, a month ago says, I've visited this hotel multiple times without any complaints, but this time is different. I paid for a lake view only to see trees, the train, and a busy intersection. I even requested it when I made the reservation. When I took pictures and showed the manager, her reply was, that's a beautiful view. As minor as it may seem, this is a deal breaker for me. After staying here multiple times, this will be my last. If I'm going to see the trees in an intersection from a hotel room, it surely won't be at the Congress Plaza. Anything on the seventh floor and below stinks. Also, that's another thing. When I was sleeping, I was on the tenth floor with the windows shut, and I could hear cars honking and, and like, anybody with a Challenger or a Charger just flooring it. Just like I was down there. That Honda Civic trumpet. Just bike. anything. So I can't imagine people below the 10th floor getting any sleep. You know, that's crazy, though. Like, she says she stayed at this hotel, like, multiple, multiple times. Multiple times she's it's never had a problem. It's a great location, great service. And then the one time that, like, she doesn't get a lake view. She, she totally The hotel crazy. is right there. You can walk out and, like, just right. stare at the lake all you want. Do you have to pay extra for a lake view room? I think so. Or maybe if they just have a, a lot of rooms available. Was good in a small budget. Rooms were good. Room service was really good. Location of this hotel is awesome. Have a have an have an A one day. Cons: accessories and bathroom were old. Tap didn't work. Big thing: no microwave. TV is useless. No channel. You're on vacation. Go out and eat. TV is useless. No good channels. How do you feel your TV experience were? Um, when I turned on the TV, we had basic cable. I spent most of the time on my phone in the room. Oh, which sounds sounds like a Bad thing. Okay. It's the first one star. Fair enough. One star. I felt uncomfortable the entire time. It feels old and run down. The water in the shower never got hot for the three days that we were there. The location was nice. The price was great. But I guess I got what I paid for. I'll spend more next time and find a different location. Rooms, one star. Location, four. That's another I don't, another great golden location rating. I don't understand this. So, like, people's, like, perception of rating is so ridiculous. Like, she just said, it was uncomfortable, and, like, yeah, I got what I paid for. One star. <laughs> just one star. And other people I are mean, here like, oh, I'll give them a two. The rooms range from small to large. They're all different. Staff is rude. Cleaning crew used key to enter my room twice. I had a do not disturb hanging on the doorknob. The rooms are stuffy. Okay, so it's up to date. Yeah. Heavily perfumed to cover up bad odors. Oh, that's the worst, when you can, like, smell something <sighs> sweet, sweet on shit. top of something terrible. Beds and pillows are like bricks. Was your it, pillow hard? No, my pillow's not hard. It's just too thin. Like, it would be nice to be able to purchase slash get water from the front desk. There are vending machines, but they're broken, empty, and cash only. It, I haven't seen a cash only vending machine forever. Really? They only have I mean, them. But, but I've been around. I mean, I've only been around here. So you know. that's true. Location and a beautiful lobby is the only thing this place has going for it. Yeah, rooms one star, service two stars, location five stars again. Perfect. Initially great. However, tried to get two rooms booked close. Oh. Tried to get two rooms we booked closer together. Um, they were in separate towers. So the way this hotel works, if you're in another tower, you have to come all the way down the elevator, and then walk. Like I guess the hotel is as long as the city block, so you have to walk pretty much half or three quarters of that block to get to the other tower, and then go up if you have someone else staying in another room. Oh, that's good. Yeah. I want to read that one. You want to read that one? Yeah. Good. Clean Lola. Clean. So. I was reading this earlier, and it's kind of got, like, a touch on, like, cleaning products. So I figured this was, like, definitely reliable. Two months ago. <clears throat> they use? No. Uh, they use heavy cleaning products. They don't say that's bad or good. Just, they use them. Well, maybe, you know. When I checked in at 10 p.m., the entire fourth floor smelled like it had just had its carpets cleaned. I asked to change rooms, but they only had another room on the same floor. I barely slept because of the toxic smell. I had an asthma attack at 4 a.m. Thank God the engineer was in there three minutes to open the window. When I checked out a few hours later, the lady at the front desk told me they have used it. They have to use industrial products because it's an old building. That's true. Melissa says, the bar at this hotel has the worst service of any that I've ever experienced. Took my order for food incorrectly, then didn't comp when I graciously told them it was okay. You said it was okay. 
that's your fault. The hotel itself is like something from The Shining. It was difficult to find my room after I got off the elevator. There are hallways and doors and exits to navigate that don't make any sense. Fluorescent lighting in the bathroom and an old dirty tub. If you're staying here for location, it's probably great. I'm here for work and will never stay again. Will says it's the worst hotel he's ever stayed at. TV as big as my iPhone. Toilet <laughs> running nonstop. <laughs> TV going in and out of service. The bathroom is very small. That, that was true. Paint chipping and old. And the customer service non-existent. I called the front desk describing these issues, and they hung up on me. Worst experience I've ever... I don't remember what I remember. Location four, room and service one. This is the second wow. one about cleaning ladies coming in. I know this is a cheaper hotel for downtown Chicago, but I was disappointed. It was incredibly hot in our room, and the 30-year-old AC couldn't be set to a cooler temp. The carpet is old and dingy. Okay, so that's the second carpet, or third carpet person. The general appearance was outdated, but it's... Supposed to be old. This doesn't make any fucking sense, because two months ago they said they washed the carpets, but a month ago... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I don't know, like, reading this, it's hard to be, like, not be the asshole that's like, well... Right, like... Tough. You... Yeah, like... Sorry, that sucks. That's hotels. Okay, this let's is the do second this second com... Oh my god, there's caps, so this one's... Chrissy says at 8 a.m., I... This was a week ago, so it's pretty recent. It's like 8... a law and order scene, 8 a.m. <laughs> Chrissy's 8 room. <laughs> doo doo. I was woken up to someone opening my door and then closing it. When I looked out the door, I saw housekeeping. First of all, they're supposed to knock and announce themselves. And second, they aren't supposed to come in until at least 11. Very sketchy. If you read the reviews... That is weird. If you read the reviews, lots of people complain about being robbed by someone with a key. That's interesting. How are they able to get away with this for so long? I would also like to mention that the room was haunted. TV and lights on and off, orbs everywhere. We recorded clear voices on the phone, woke up the next morning, all media and phone was deleted. That's tough. Orbs? <laughs> orbs? I don't believe orbs. orbs. I think she had a very negative <coughs> negative experience and then and then maybe something else happened. I don't know if I believe the orbs. Orbs. The manager was extremely rude. She refused <laughs> to speak with my travel agent and asked me if I had the ability to speak like an adult. I'm still baffled. I mean, sounds like Katie's just a bitch. <laughs> it's safe to say this hotel is historic and the lobby is very inviting. Other than that, I have nothing positive to say. Our two-bedroom family suite looked like it hadn't been remodeled in decades. The hallways looked like a scene from The Shining. That's two Shining references. I would highly recommend not staying at the Congress Plaza Hotel if you have expectations of luxury and at the least cleanliness. Oh, they're a couple review account. Now they say location four. They pretty much all say the same thing. Yeah, they just all say it was, it's just terrible, I just guess. Just a terrible hotel. Great location, though. 